With the counting of the Omer leading up to Shavuot, we pray for the success of the wheat crop now ripening in the fields. Wheat is considered an archetype for all sustenance, both physical and spiritual. The Arizal brings an important meditation based on the verse, Poteach et yedecha umasbiya nachol chayratzon. From Psalms, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living being. The meditations on this verse are meant to draw down increased sustenance and blessing to the entire world. The Arizal teaches us that with the initial verse, Pateach et Yedecha, a person should meditate that the initial letters, Pe Aleph Yud, spell a very special and unique divine name known for its power to draw down holy flow from above. The divine name Pe Aleph Yud has the numerical value of 91, the same as the integration of the two essential divine names, Yud, Pe, and Bab, Pe, with Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud, in a sense, can imagine the union of all masculine and feminine archetypes in the world. In Hebrew, the word for the letter Yud and the word for hand, Yad, are very similar. And on our verse, the Zohar says, don't read Poteach et Yadecha, you open your hand, rather read Poteach et Yudecha, open up your Yuds, referring to the letter Yuds at the beginning and at the end of the integration of the divine names Havaya and Admit. This concept of Hashem opening up a distance or expanse between giver and receiver archetypes, between creator and creation, is at the heart of the Kabbalistic understanding of the creation of the world. Essentially, it's our task to acknowledge the distance, and then bridge the gap between the two. One way that this was expressed in the Holy Temple was with the table of the showbread, two parallel sets of shelves, each five levels high. This table, which held special wheat bread, was designed like a hand with three rods on each of the four lower shelves of each row, and two rods on the top two shelves of each row, similar to the joints in our hands. Poteach et yadecha. Arizal teaches us another meditation on our phrase that the final letters of Poteach et Yedecha also spell a divine name expressing a similar idea as that which we mentioned before. This divine name is the divine name Chet Taf Chaf, which literally means to cut. And many communities have the tradition to meditate on this divine name when they cut bread after saying the Hamotzi blessing. Our meditation continues with a third divine name, this one derived from the letters of Chet Tav Chav, transformed via the Atbash technique. The divine name Samech Aleph Lamed, found in the 72 word name and the initial letters of the term Atasateli, you, Hashem, are hidden to me. The numerical value of Samech Aleph Lamed is that of 91, of course, the same as the integration of the divine names Avaya and Adam, as we mentioned earlier. Another important part of the meditation from the Arizal 
is that on the word poteach, meaning you open, we meditate on drawing down supernal holiness from the archetypal grandparent realm, or arich anpin, all the way down, down through the worlds until the most lowest, most constricted level. The word poteach has a numerical value of 488, the same as the eight root letters of two times Havaya, representing the supernal roots within Arich Anpin, drawing down through the face of Arich Anpin, represented by the two spellings out of the name Aleph Lamed, or 370 lights in the face of Arich Anpin, drawing down further into the realm of Zer Anpin, or the immature masculine realm, represented by the name Havaya spelled out with the letter Alephs, the numerical value of 45, drawing all the way down to the Malchut, to the feminine aspect of this world, represented by the divine name Adnut, the numerical value of 65. et yadecha umaspia. The next word on our verse, umaspia, which means and satisfy, is also the numerical value of 428, the same as our divine name, chet taf. Chaf, as we mentioned before, as we meditate on fulfilling our potential to receive Hashem's goodness. And on the final phrase of our verse, Lachol Chayratzon, which means the desire of every living being, we essentially meditate on sweetening the Malchut, on sweetening the tears of our mother Rachel, essentially a code term for this physical, incomplete world. Rachel being buried in Beit Lechem, Bethlehem, literally in Hebrew meaning the house of bread. The words Lachol Chayratzon are the initial letters of Rachel, Resh Chet Lamed, and we meditate that we are infusing the incomplete world of Rachel and the exile in general with a supernal will from above, Ritzon. Baruch.